Let's talk about fluoride toxicity. I'm gonna to go through a lot of the symptoms and more importantly, my detox tips to get that fluoride out of your system. Now, as much as we've been told that fluoride is good for our teeth and for our teeth enamel, I'm going to educate you a little bit as to the flip side of fluoride toxicity and why you may be wanting to watch and be aware of how much fluoride is getting into your system. Okay, let's go through some of the symptoms. Number one, low levels of calcium. So that's called hypocalcemia and and magnesium, so are very important electrolytes, are very important minerals, hypomagnesia as well, because of having too much fluoride in your system. Okay, number two on the list, low glucose levels, so hypoglycemia, but also an imbalance in our blood glucose levels. So this can lead to maybe prediabetes and diabetes when we have difficulty balancing our blood glucose levels. Okay, number three, another symptom of fluoride toxicity is high levels of potassium potassium in the blood. This is known as hyperkalemia and it's very, very common and a lot of doctors will tell their patients not to consume potassium containing foods that they have to be aware of that. But is that really the case or is it because of the high fluoride in the system that is causing that hyperkalemia? Okay, number four, another symptom of fluoride toxicity is white specks or streaks or yellow brown discoloration of the teeth. So mottled teeth can be another symptom of too much fluoride. Okay, number five, damage to the tooth enamel. Yes, so this is against and of course the total opposite of what you've heard as to why we need more fluoride, but it can actually make you more prone to cavities when you have too much fluoride in your system. Okay, number six on the list is thyroid disorders. Now this has been proven in the research if we take a look at this study in which the serum fluoride concentration also had a significant relationship with thyroid hormones. So the free T3, free T4, and TSA concentrations and not in a good way there was an imbalance there in the thyroid hormones and that's because fluoride will displace your iodine they're both part of the halogen group on the periodic table if you remember that from science class way back this is important because that fluoride will preferentially knock out that iodine and your system will hold on to more fluoride than iodine and of course we know that iodine is really important for proper thyroid function okay number seven on the list is breast tenderness so this is really common amongst women and again, that fluoride will displace that iodine and iodine deficiency is very much related to breast tenderness. Okay, number eight on the list, another fluoride toxicity symptom is a lot of joint pains. And number nine, this often goes hand in hand with bone spurs and osteoporosis as well. So we think of these things as part of the aging process, but is it really due to that accumulated fluoride toxicity over time? And number 10, the diarrhea or changes in bowel movements as that's related to what's happening in the digestive of tract with that fluoride toxicity. Now, of course, I've got my tips and I know that's why you're here because you wanna learn how to get that fluoride safely and effectively out of your system. Okay, tip number one to get rid of that fluoride is to follow a healthy diet, but you do wanna limit some specific foods and drinks. So things like tea, so green tea and black tea tend to be very high in fluoride. Also limiting the amount of grapes and raisins because for whatever reason, grapes and raisins tend to draw up up that fluoride into the fruit and especially if they're not organic so these are things that you definitely want to limit as well as non-organic wine unfortunately because that can be high in fluoride as well okay number two another thing that you can do for that fluoride toxicity is curcumin now this has been found in the research and it's really interesting especially in the US where they found that exposure to fluoride may contribute to complex changes in kidney and liver function and this is why I love curcumin because we know that it helps with liver but also kidney health as well and in the United States where 74 percent of the public drinking water adds that fluoride in to help with the dental health benefits but now we know maybe that doesn't have the best health outcomes now another study done on mice found that curcumin specifically helps with fluoride detoxification as we can see here so that's one of the things that I love turmeric I actually take a turmeric and it has a concentrated curcumin in there at a 95 percentile fantastic I promise we'll share some links below the video now let's continue with number three another detox tip for that fluoride is to of course stop your exposure so whether that's fluoridated toothpaste that you're using of course the tea that you're drinking as well this is something that you actually can have an impact on by just lessening your exposure over time number four make sure you're optimizing your iodine remember iodine is displaced by that fluoride in your system so you want to make sure you're getting enough iodine a great source is kelp seaweed snacks a great way to get some natural iodine back into your system and to 
to displace that fluoride. Okay, number five is making sure that you've got enough calcium, magnesium, vitamin D3, vitamin K2 in here as well. Of course, that always goes along with your calcium and natural sunlight exposure. Of course, this is gonna optimize your detox mechanisms, helping to rid your body of that fluoride. Okay, number six on my list is drink organic coffee and herbal tea. So herbal teas, if it's not a green or a black tea, herbal teas tend to be much less toxic in terms of fluoride and organic coffee as well. Now, this is something you can actually look up. I'm gonna share a link in the description about a website where you can put in your favorite tea or coffee. They've tested over 350, I believe, of different brands of teas and coffees. And you can put in the one that you're drinking. Hopefully it's on the list and you can see how many parts per million of fluoride are in that product. Okay, number seven on the list is reverse osmosis water. So you wanna try not to be drinking regular tap water, especially if you live in an area where the water is fluoridated. Filtered water is gonna be better, but you definitely wanna ask that question if your filter and reverse osmosis system actually eliminates that fluoride. Okay, number eight on my list, doing that full body detox with something like chlorella. Now with chlorella, we know helps to rid the body and trap heavy metal toxins. It also is fantastic because it is a blue green algae helping to trap that fluoride as well. And number nine, doing a third eye meditation. Now this is that whole mind body connection, which you know that I love. And this is important because that pineal gland can have calcification. And some believe that this is related to the amount of fluoride in your system. And this is something that we don't want. We want to have a nice opening and functioning third eye and pineal gland that is our window to the soul. And of course, part of our intuition and our ability to tap into things beyond just the physical, what we can see, touch and feel, but what we can perceive in our world as well. And that's really important for your overall health. Now for a list of hidden sources of fluoride, I want you to check out this video, Fluoride and How to Avoid Fluoride. I'll see you there.